What's going on everyone? Trevor of Momentum Digital. Today we find ourselves in the iconic Center City speaking with Lindsay, VP of Customer Engagement, and she's gonna tell us more about her brand, Piper Y, on this episode of Small Business Saturday. So Lindsay, could you tell us a little bit about the inspiration of how Piper Y came to be? Actually, this is way before my time, but <laughs> I can talk on it because I've heard this story so many times and it's, <laughs> really, it's a really awesome story. So our co-founder just, she tried every natural deodorant and she, they all broke her out and she said, well, this is terrible. I'm just gonna do it myself. And so she put her mind to it and had hundreds and hundreds of batches of deodorant. And finally, came up with this little guy nice. um, and she did that with her business partner Sarah and they found that it works they used activated charcoal to make it effective um, baking soda is one of the reasons why people get burned a lot with natural deodorants because mm -hmm. the high content so they lowered the baking soda content and added activated charcoal wow. which rubs in clear can't even see it on my hand wow yeah and um, they went on Shark Tank, and that's when the business started to get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's plenty of exciting stories about that Shark Tank yes. experience. <laughs> Can you tell us about the health benefits? I know you touched on that a little bit, but why is Piper Y so, um, I guess, health beneficial? Yeah, absolutely. So the difference between our product is, and antiperspirants is that it's a deodorant, not an antiperspirant. Okay. So while the activated charcoal is super absorbent, you will still see a little wetness, which isn't too bad because that's natural. It's what your body does naturally. Um, aluminum is in antiperspirants and it clogs your pores shut. So natural deodorants allow you to do what your body does naturally um, without the harmful uh, ingredients like parabens, aluminum, all that bad stuff. Very interesting. Now, Lindsay, you work a lot with customer uh, engagement and social media. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about your social media strategy and, and how uh, you articulate Piper Y to the world? Absolutely. We are in a health and wellness field, so I like our content to be very positive, um, doing healthy changes, making moves forward. Um, I'm all about um, body positivity. I have a rule that I never post about weight loss because I want people to be you know, doing things for their health, not for vanity. Um, and it's very inclusive. We want to make sure that the brand is for everyone. We say Piper Y is for everybody. Um, it's gender neutral. So that comes out in our social media strategy as well. I love it. I love the inclusive nature of that social media strategy. Now, if you can, can you include us on a little bit of details of maybe what's to come with Piper Y and, and yes. the growth of it? Yeah, uh, I mean, always something in the works. Um, <laughs> we recently hired a marketing director and she's been working with like creative promos for us. Um, so if you sign up for a newsletter, you'll get a sneak peek at what we have to offer. Um, also, we want to branch out the product line a little bit. Um, that's still in the works, can't really tell much about that, yeah. but it's definitely something that we want to do to grow the business. Well, very exciting. Lindsay, thank you so much for telling us more about Piper Y. If you're looking to have that healthy alternative, something that you can trust putting on your body, highly suggest Piper Y as that. And we'll make sure to have all of the social medias and website linked in the description. So if you'd like to use their products, check that out. And we will catch everyone next week on another episode of Small Business Saturday.